So let's say you meet up with a client and then he knows nothing about graphic design. And then like, how would you approach the client in terms of like convincing him like this is the right direction to go with the design? That's a great question. Process. I've answered that question 1,000 times, but this will be 1,001 just because you, you stepped up. Okay. How do you convince the client, Molly? How do you convince the client? Well, when you say the word convince, there's the word con in there. Convince, con. Have you ever been conned before? Been tricked, been duped, deceived, right? Given your confidence to somebody and then they screw you over. So there's a problem with that, is that if you have to convince them, it's because you haven't started here. You haven't had the meeting of the minds. You have an agenda, you have an objective that's wholly different than what your clients want. That's the problem. So when you shoot out into the research phase, the brainstorming, the word list, and demographics, and all, spend some time talking to the client about what it is that they want. And more importantly, spend time understanding what their consumers want. And make sure that what they want and their consumers want are the same. So in this way, you are going to be an advocate for the consumer against the client's short-term self-interest. Does that make sense? The clients might say, I need more of this customer today. But after thinking it through, after learning about business, you say to them, if this is the customer you want, this is who your customers look like, this is how they behave and talk, do you think this is a good solution for that? You help them to realize a truth. You're not gonna be able to convince them of anything. The more powerful they are, meaning the more money they have to share with you, and the bigger brands that they have, the likelihood of you convincing them of something is very, very small. That's the problem. And the other problem is one, not you specifically, but in general, is one of arrogance. One that, I'm gonna live with your company, your brand, for a little while. I'm gonna change everything, and then I'm gonna leave, because I'm on to my next project. While you have to deal with everything else that's impacted by this one change. I don't like the name of your company. Let's change the name of the company. Well, that's $3 million worth of printing. You gotta change the URL that's not available. I gotta buy the URL. That's the problem. You ever invite somebody over to your house to, to have them help you build a, a deck or something? So they, they go to your house and they rearrange everything and you're like, what are you, what are you doing? Don't worry, I'll be out tomorrow. They leave, the girlfriend, the wife comes home, the kids are like, what's going on? We can't find anything, everything's wrong. They bump their shins, you see how it goes? That's what happens when you convince people. And you don't really live with their brand. You change the menu, and they turn over three tables less in a single service in a restaurant, that's how much money you cost them because you wanted to upgrade the menu, right? I'm all for like function, like let's do what's right for the business, let's do what it's right for the customer. So if you put the lens on, like I'm gonna try to empathize and understand the customer, you're gonna do really well for yourself. <laughs>